He is known for being an Austrian-born American violinist and composer. He was regarded as one of the greatest violinists of all time. His name is Friedrich Fritz Kreisler. In the world of classical music, there is one name that stands above the rest, Fritz Kreisler, the legendary violinist and composer. Born in Austria and later becoming an American citizen, Chrysler's talent and skill on the violin were unparalleled. He was not only a master of his instrument but also a composer of great renown. Chrysler's unique sound and expressive phrasing set him apart from other violinists of his time. His sweet tone captivated audiences and his playing was instantly recognizable as his own. Drawing inspiration from the Franco-Belgian school of violin playing, Chrysler developed a style that embodied the charm and elegance of pre-war Vienna. But it was not just his performances that made Chrysler a legend. He was also a prolific composer, creating beautiful and memorable compositions that have stood the test of time. His works, such as Liebeslied and Liebesfreud, showcased his virtuosity on the violin and became staples in the repertoire of violinists around the world. Chrysler's contributions to the world of music were profound. His unique sound and compositions continue to inspire and influence musicians to this day. He remains an icon in the field of classical music, forever remembered as one of the greatest violinists of all time. The biography of Fritz Kreisler is a testament to the power of music and the lasting impact that a single individual can have on an art form. Fritz Kreisler, born in Vienna to Anna and Samuel Kreisler, had a remarkable journey as a composer and violinist. Despite being of Jewish heritage, he was baptized at the age of 12. Chrysler's musical education began at the Vienna Conservatory, where he studied under renowned musicians such as Anton Bruckner and Joseph Helmsberger Jr. He further honed his skills at the Paris Conservatory, learning from Leo Delib and Jules Massenet. At the age of 12, Chrysler achieved a remarkable feat, graduating with a degree of Premier Prix gold medal, surpassing competitors twice his age. Hashtag paragraph hashtag Chrysler made his debut in the United States in 1888 at Steinway Hall in New York City, marking the beginning of his successful career. He embarked on a tour of the United States with pianist Moriz Rosenthal and gained recognition for his exceptional talent. However, upon his return to Austria, his aspirations to join the Vienna Philharmonic were dashed when he was turned down by the concertmaster. Disheartened, Chrysler temporarily left music to pursue medicine and even served in the army. It wasn't until 1899, when he performed with the Berlin Philharmonic under Arthur Nikisch, that he decided to fully dedicate himself to the violin once again. Hashtag paragraph hashtag Chrysler's true acclaim came from his concert tours in the early 1900s, captivating audiences with his virtuosity. He not only excelled as a violinist but also showcased his talent as a pianist, leaving a lasting legacy through Ampico reproducing piano roles. During his 1901 tour of the United States, Chrysler met Harriet Lies, a Vassar graduate and daughter of a German-American tobacco merchant. They fell in love and were married, sharing a devoted partnership for 60 years. Chrysler played a pivotal role in premiering Sir Edward Elgar's Violin Concerto in 1910, a piece dedicated to him. He also served in World War I before settling in the United States during World War II. Hashtag paragraph hashtag in 1941, Chrysler encountered a life-altering accident when he was struck by a truck in New York City, resulting in a fractured skull that left him in a coma for over a week. Despite this setback, he continued to pursue his passion for music, even as he faced challenges such as hearing loss and deteriorating eyesight due to cataracts. Chrysler's remarkable journey came to an end in 1962 when he passed away in New York City from a heart condition aggravated by old age. He was laid to rest in a private mausoleum at Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York City, leaving behind a legacy of extraordinary musical achievements. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.